power stations are becoming way more popular. This is my personal EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus, and I use it every single day. However, one main issue with really all of these power stations is that their default capacity leaves a lot to be desired. And I think they do this on purpose in order to sell you very expensive expansion battery packs. And these can greatly enhance the, the capabilities of your power station. But here I'm going to show you guys a much cheaper way to expand the capacity of these batteries using generic 12 volt batteries instead. So this is my EcoFlow Delta 3 power station. And say we're going to expand its capacity with just a normal 12 volt battery. This one in particular is from Power Queen. It's 12 volts, 125 amp hours for a total watt hour capacity of 1600, which is actually more than the one kilowatt capacity of my actual power station. And this is still a very high quality battery. If you check the reviews on Amazon, very highly rated. And we have nice features like low temperature shutoff, Bluetooth, a super nice accompanying app, which for this application is crucial. More on this later. And this is a lithium iron phosphate battery, meaning that it's the same as most power stations, and the battery is going to have uh, thousands of charge cycles. And if you compare this to EcoFlow's own expansion battery pack, it is half the cost and over 50% the capacity. Now, the most common way I see people uh, use batteries like this in tandem is by directly connecting the battery to the XT60 port. You attach the battery terminals like so. And then on the back of this power station, we actually have two XT60 ports rated for between 11 and 60 volts. You can see that now we have uh, an input of 100 watts. 100 watts of what the power station believes to be solar. So this is one option, but in my opinion, if you're looking to expand the battery capacity of the main unit, this is really not the most optimal setup. The charge rate is pretty slow, and the power can only go in one direction. So the best way I found to get these two kinds of batteries to work together is via some kind of DC to DC charger. And this one is by EcoFlow. It steps up the voltage to, I think 48 volts is what these things are. And it sends that out via the EcoFlow battery expansion port. So let's go ahead and get this connected. And then the other end is the battery expansion port on the back of the unit. Now you can see nothing is happening yet, and that's because this entire thing is going to be controlled via two apps. So if you open up the, the EcoFlow app here, we essentially have two modes here, charge and reverse charge. We're currently in charging mode. If we go ahead and hit the, the on button, we should begin to see power. Yep, there we go. Transferring from the 12 volt battery to the power station. So this is the 800 watt DC to DC charger. And in the settings here, we have a maximum charge and discharge current of 70 amps. If you multiply 70 times 12 volts, that's roughly your 800 watts. But personally, I like to keep it around 40 watts and that equates to about 500 watts of input. Now, like mentioned in the beginning, the, the Power Queen battery also has its own accompanying app. So if we switch into that now, this is now how we can monitor the, the state of charge for this battery. We can also see other cool features like the, the watts leaving this battery. So right now, 535 watts are leaving this battery and 490 watts are actually being absorbed by this power station. So there is a little bit of, of loss here, but a, a DC to DC charger is the most efficient way to transfer power between two batteries. Now, if we come back to the EcoFlow app, we can stop the charging. And by simply selecting reverse charge, confirm, turn on, we can now see that we are outputting, uh, in this case, 850 watts, the, the maximum, although again, this is fully customizable. And that's going the opposite way through the DC to DC charger to fill back up the, the 12 volt battery. So I do think this is the best, most efficient way to use universal 12 volt batteries to 
essentially expand the, the capacity of your main power station. Although I do have to admit that it's still not quite as good as the, the first party expansion battery packs. Because those things, when you connect them together, they automatically charge and discharge with the main unit at the same time, truly acting as one larger battery. And for this configuration, as we saw, we have to manually uh, send charge one way or the other. So it is more of a hassle, but considering this is all done through an app, I, I still think it's a much better solution than the, the XT60 connection. And personally, the way that I've been using this setup is that when I'm charging this via regular AC power, that's when I activate the reverse charging to charge both batteries. Then in a situation like this, when I'm not charging, I could send power from the secondary battery to the main unit. Now again, you can do this with any 12 volt battery, but Power Queen did send me this battery to make this test possible, and I do think this is a really solid option. It's highly rated, it's lithium iron phosphate battery, and it has that mobile app, which I think is key for this setup. So I will go ahead and leave this battery linked below the video to their website, Amazon page, and I'll link other options like uh, this XT60 cable if you want to go another route. If you guys did find this video useful, I appreciate a like, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.